I do have something to say, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bear with me. I just have a few pages here. I'll try and make it quick, <laughs> seriously. Um, and because I have so much to say, I do need to read it, so please forgive me on that. I wish I could have memorized it, but I'm happy to read it this evening. Um, first of all, thank you all for this opportunity to speak this evening, and I want to thank you for the privilege of serving our city. When I began my city service as a commissioner many years ago, I had no idea I would eventually be serving one year on the Redevelopment Commission, six years on the Planning Commission, and eight years on the council, including two terms as mayor. I'm honored to have been given the opportunity to serve and dedicate over 15 years of my life to our town. In the early 1990s, I felt the need to contribute to society in some way and to try and make a difference. Civic service was my calling. As a child of the 50s and 60s, I saw this as an opportunity to serve society after many years of concern and skepticism about government. As I look back on my participa participation in civic life, I can honestly say our system works and my faith in the people and our ultimate collective wisdom has been restored. As I look at this council, I recognize that each of us brings our own skill set and our own perspective to the issues and opportunities we face. As an architect, I believe my legacy in city government reflects my skill set, and I would like to think my legacy is one of civic improvement balanced with community and environmental protection. During my tenure, our city has been given two parks, a new pergola, a remodeled Thomas Aquinas Chapel, a new Oaks at Ojai, the Arcade Plaza, an award-winning general plan, a village mixed-use zone, Sycamore Homes, Montgomery Oaks, both affordable housing projects, a beautiful expansion of the Ojai Valley Inn, updated zoning, a reconstituted and even better planning commission, and a fair review process. I would also like to think that under my watch, we have seen a return of architectural character and quality in our downtown. I believe that architectural standards and expectations have been raised. I think many people would agree our town, downtown looks better than it did 15 years ago, and perhaps it hasn't looked so good since Edward Drummond Libby gifted so much to our wonderful town nearly 90 years ago. I believe during my years in city government, we have seen a rise in appreciation of the history, culture, and the environment. But while we are learning to respect our past, we must also embrace the future. Frankly, some people are clinging to the past out of fear and, I believe, misinformation. Just because something is old doesn't necessarily make it good or right. And what, might some, what some misguided people might call charming funk is often, in my idea, an embarrassment. The sad state and appearance of the east end of Ohio Avenue is a prime example. We have much work to do to live up to our reputation as an environmentally concerned, historic and creative town that respects both the natural and built environment. From this vantage point, I realize, as many of us do, that growth is at the core of our concerns. How can we balance growth with sustainability? Do we have to grow? Can't things stay just the way they are or as they used to be? Growth is about change, and change is often very scary. The humans seem to prefer things just the way they are. There's often more security within the status quo and our longing for the past. But as the Greek uh, philosopher Her Heraclitus said, change alone is unchanging. We can expect to change, and we have to change. We sometimes se seem to think we live in a bubble up here, a protected nest away from the maddening crowds. But the forces we face are far greater than us, and they will shape us one way or another. The forces are local, regional, national, international, and even global. In 1920, the population of Ventura County was 28,000, the entire county. Fifty years later, in 1970, the population increased to 376,000. Today, the county has nearly doubled again to 796,000. The population of Ventura County will continue to grow with predictions of 932,000 within the next 15 years. That's almost a million people compared to just 28,000 so, such a short time ago. Of this, Ojai will have its fair share. Despite these pressures, we are and we will remain the smallest and slowest growing town in Ventura County. We are not growing excessively. Less than 100 people a year move here. 
and those that say growth is out of control are spreading false and misleading information.